Kalski and I'm the director of zoo operations here at Reed Park Zoo. And I'm delighted because our Chilean flamingo habitat, the brand new habitat, is open to our guests and the birds have moved in and are settling just wonderfully. really tries to mimic what these birds would experience in the wild. We really wanted to bring Chile to Tucson. So it's much more open than their previous habitat. It's got a lot more different levels of water. So areas where they can swim, areas where they can dabble, areas where they can bathe. It's got a state of the art filtration system. So this water circulates every 37 minutes. It's fantastic. Um, and it's a lot more open for them, which is what they would experience in the wild. another exciting part of this exhibit for us. Uh, in the past, when we've had to have vet exams, it's been very challenging to get the birds. This way, it's much more easier, it's much safer. We can just gently walk all the birds into that night house, get the bird we need to do an exam on very safely. It's fantastic. Moving the flamingos from their old habitat to this habitat was a bit of an ordeal. It took a lot of preparing. We set up a pen that we padded with moving blankets. Uh, we gently walked all of the flamingos into that pen and then we took them either four by four or two by two out of the pen. We did complete vet exams on them. They got any vaccinations they needed, um, blood work that they needed, any kind of stuff like that that our vet wanted to do. And then we walked them down our back road from their old habitat to this habitat, um, sort of positioned them so they were able to see the habitat and let them go. It took about two hours to do all 26 birds. So it was time to do our annual flamingo uh, physical health checks. And we were able to this year um, couple that with a move to their new exhibit. And so part of that um, was to examine each and every flamingo. And that means doing a thorough health check of their feet, evaluating the bands on both legs, confirming that these birds are microchip, listening to their heart and lungs, um, looking at their eyes, their ears, getting a good look in their mouth, and also doing what we do on all other animals, draw blood. Um, some of that blood goes to various labs and we screen them for not only their basic parameters, but also infectious diseases. In addition, they get their annual vaccinations for West Nile, as well as a dewormer to protect them um, from anything that they may be exposed to. The flamingos did great, actually. Um, each and every bird got a thorough health exam and each and every bird looked really great. Um, their weights were all appropriate, their heart and lungs sounded normal, um, their general physical condition, their feather quality, all of that looked great. In an attempt to minimize any stress, we tend to have a lot of people involved. I was able to utilize all five of my veterinary interns to help with this process and that made it go very quickly. Um, so there was very little stress involved in the actual restraint um, and the move to their new exhibit. So our flock consists of 26 birds. They range in age uh, quite a lot. Um, we have some older birds in their 30s. We have some younger birds, not even, I think the youngest is five. Um, they were hatched here, a young birds. So we've got a great age variety, which is fantastic when we um, are coming up to breeding season because we've got uh, birds that can reproduce and birds that can learn from the birds that are reproducing. So it's really fantastic. We also have a very good number. You always want to have the more flamingos, the better when you're trying to breed them. So 26 is a great number. Um, and we hope that we will see some breeding here in the next year or two once they acclimate to this habitat. When our guests come
come to visit our flamingos, we also want to share information from our Andean Highland Flamingo SAFE program. And SAFE stands for Saving Animals from Extinction. Here at Reed Park Zoo, we are co-leaders in that program. And what that means is that we're leading the country. Our AZA partner zoos are with us, standing together to save flamingos in the wild, specifically Andean Highland flamingos. Those are Andean flamingos, Chilean flamingos, and James's flamingos. SAFE programs work with field researchers to help support on-grounds research in the wild animals' home ranges. Then also we want to connect with our local communities, so here in Tucson, Arizona, and what we can do here to help save birds. So the biggest part of our mission this first year is to help educate everyone about flamingos and help to um, grow a love for flamingos. In fact, there are six different species, but our SAFE program will focus on three. So the first year is dedicated to getting folks familiar with flamingos and energized about flamingos and then we want to gradually talk about some of the threats and how we can help save them. So please help support Reed Park Zoo in saving flamingos from extinction.